so today we're out here at Roberto's on 27th Street in Milwaukee and um, South 27th Street actually and we got the van parked right there and inside on the hoist we have a car that um, has the aluminum part broken off the engine and we're gonna weld this back in and uh, see how we do Now I did bring an ACDC TIG welder, but when I saw the job I kind of decided against it. I'm going to show you. There's a lot of mass there. It takes forever to heat it up. I have a tank here, 75% helium, 25 argon, but I opted to uh, wire weld this straight argon. I think I'm going to get more heat and a better fit, but I'll show you what the repair looks like in a second. So here's the back of the engine block. You see some cracks around there, spiderweb cracks. One bolt is still holding this in. There's three threaded holes and the thing broke clean off. If I take this bolt out, this whole piece with the three uh, threads is all coming out. So this is how I found it, how it was all dirty. Then I sandblasted everything and now you can really see the cracks, where they are, where they go. This is the top side here. Um, multiple cracks there. So after sandblasting everything nice and clean where the sand gets in every nook and cranny here, then I decided to start to weld. So I set the machine up here with a slider. And um, the guys here already took the exhaust out and everything. Right here, we got the piece. So the plan is to just weld around here, cover this all, re-tap the holes, and uh, good to go. So after about 15 or 20 minutes of fast forward welding, this is about what it looks like here. Not wire brushed or anything yet. Nice good solid weld on there. And then you see a couple up close right here. You see that I didn't chamfer it all the way out where the threads were, but there's enough material piled up around it where I'm not really concerned about strength. So now I go to tap those three holes out. And later on these holes are going to be holding that um, uh, it's not really the CV shaft, but like that extension from the transmission over out to the CV shaft. And I did that repair a few months ago, and um, everything is still fine. Customer has a few thousand miles on the car, nothing broke off, nothing tore out. So looking at these here, I mean, all overall, a pretty clean job. I mean, not exactly super clean, but clean enough for what it is, and save thousands of dollars. So instead of getting a new engine block, just um, resurrected this one here again and uh, it was a pretty quick and easy fix instead of switching the whole engine out. <laughs> 